Hey guys, Joe from RC Grid, and today I'm showing you guys my TLR 22 2.0. Now I just took it to the track the last four weeks in a row, and I had a blast with it. As you guys can see, I've got it all cleaned up. Um, however, I did notice that this vehicle is a lot heavier than the other vehicles at the track. Um, although most of that has to do with that I'm running a lot of aluminum upgrades, and I'm running brass weights. So today's video is going to be all about weight loss. Um, so the first thing I have right here is the J Concepts Titanium Front Axle Set. I'm actually already running the J Concepts front axle conversion, but as you guys can see, these are the steel ones. When I purchased the steel front axles, I wasn't aware that they sold titanium, so if I would have done it over again, I just would have gotten the titaniums right from the start. Um, also, as you guys can see, I have some Lunsford products. Um, first up, I have the titanium ball stud kit. Um, I only thought that this kit had 12 ball studs, but it actually has 14, so I guess it has the ball studs for the steering assembly. Um, I also have the Lunsford Quick Tune Titanium Shock Mounts. This will be getting rid of a lot of weight up high, and it'll also be lowering the center of gravity. Um, now, the reason I went with Lunsford products is because I've had really good luck with them in the past. I'm actually running Lunsford turnbuckles right now, and one thing I like about their products is they have they well they CNC machine their products, and their threads are rolled, so you get really high quality threads and like all your screws and shock mounts, the ball studs, etc. Um, the last Lunsford part I got is their 4.8 millimeter Super Duty ball cups. That's because when I'll be replacing the ball studs, I'll have to pop off these rod ends. And every time you pop off a rod end, you're widening, you're widening the diameter of the inner hole, so you'll end up with more slop. So I just got extra ball cups, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, the last part I have here, I'm actually not sure, 100% sure that this will work in my car. These are MIP 22 CVDs and they're aluminum. Um, however, these are not made for the 22 2.0. These are made for the original 22. Um, I've read about someone using these and they didn't have any problems fitting them or anything. So I got these just to test it out. The reason I got these is because it's either these or the puck system. The puck system is nice, but it cost a lot, and you have to replace the differential. And I heard a lot of complaints that the TLR differential is a lot better than the MIP differential. So I chose to go with those. Also, if I would have gotten the pucks, I would have had to go in with the shiny pucks, since I'm using a mod motor. And those are actually heavier than the stock drivetrain. So obviously, I don't want to be adding weight if I'm trying to lose weight. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and throw these parts on, and I'll show you guys the aftermath. 